formations and doubles. Eight formations. There's eight formations, there's three on the return. Right now, Chad and Artyom are in the defensive position. We call it offsetting. Why do we call it offsetting? They're gonna try to offset the great serve. Say, for example, if Julia's serving, it's the beginning of the match, and Artyom doesn't think he can get the ball away from Connor. He can't get the ball cross court. He asked Chad to come back. You'll see it all the time in high-level college tennis. And in the pros, generally off the first serve, they start in a defensive position, especially in the beginning of a match. Now the next would be the neutral position. Chad's going to stand right here. He's going to call the line. He's going to be looking right at Connor after he calls the line. So he's lined up just like this in the neutral position. We call it conventional. We call it conventional. People end up playing only this way. Now say, for example, Julia's serve or second serve is it's a minus, it's weak, and Artyom feels like he can play an aggressive cross-court return with top or he can even come in behind it. Chad is going to move up here in the offensive situation. Okay, we call that attacking. So everybody repeat after me. Defensive. Defensive. Offsetting. Offsetting. Re new, uh, conventional. conventional. With moving right up. Here, say attacking. So the conventional is neutral. Right here, the attacking is offensive. They can get to the point where they poach on the return. Chad could give Artie a hand signal, and when Julia comes down like this to hit the, the dipping cross-court return, Chad's going to come in diagonal, hit Connor in the right hip, and then say, sorry. It's a pattern point. Now, let's uh, have you switch sides. Go ahead, switch sides. You two guys over there, you two over here. Okay, there's five on the, on the serve. Okay, both start back. You won't see this very much. But say you're playing with someone who has a pulled muscle in their stomach. I, I tell the story about the great Billie Jean King when she played with Nancy Ritchie, who liked to come in off an approach shot. They both stayed back and then came in together. Okay, so this is offsetting. Now let's go to conventional. Julia, if you stand right up here for a minute. Now, she's going to make a letter X in the box, stand a little bit past the center of the X. Okay, everybody say conventional. So we got offsetting, we got conventional. Now, say for example, Chad's hitting a great cross court return. Julia's going to come over here and stand in the other house. She's going from deuce court to add court. Connor moves into the center mark. Okay, everybody say Australian. Okay, tennis history, you look up a great player, McGregor. They came up with this system. Now, let's have both of you go to offsetting. If you have a team that's using one of the formations, such as Australian, you're best to counter that by using offsetting. Now, let's have you switch places. Okay, Julia serve, Connor's up here. Okay, now Connor's going to go into the I formation. Years ago, a famous player, Jan Tiriak, did this with Vilas. Tiriak was older. So what he would do with Velos is he'd put him down in this position. All right, now Connor wants to be like a sprinter. That back knee's not touching the court. And he's got to tell Julia whether he's going to shift one way or the other. Okay, so this is called eye formation. Everybody say eye formation. All right, now, okay, up Connor. So Connor says he's going to shift this way. Then Julia knows she's coming in this direction. So the players have to communicate verbally or they do it through hand signals. So on the serve, we've got offsetting, we've got conventional, we've got Australian, we've got I, and then the Australians, the, the Woodies, who won so many major titles. Connor, if you start right here, he's going to start in conventional. Julia's going to start in close. Now, it's not a distraction if she does this in the middle of her motion and she says switch. Connor can switch from conventional here he can switch and stay, or he can switch and come back and poach. It's called motion doubles. All right, now they can actually do it from Australian as well. So, Connor, start over here. And this will be one that you wouldn't see so much, but you'd see it on the Pro Tour. So, Julia starts her motion and she just yells switch. So, Connor's ready to go and he switches. And then he would go across. Now, let's just go through one other you'll see very often is just a modified eye. Julia's serving in the deuce, and then Connor's right here. It's, it's a modified eye, but now what Julia's going to do is she's going to serve to the middle, forcing the return to Connor. Typically what happens, Connor back over here, you see this in club tennis, 
is Julie, if you go way out wide. And you're, you're going to see less and less of this in pro tennis, in college tennis, because an angle begets an angle. All right, but with those uh, eight formations, you want to write them in your journal. Return to serve, quickly. These guys are in offsetting. Defensive, now come up to neutral. It's called conventional. Now come up to offensive, it's called attacking. All right, both of you go back to offsetting. This group right here serving, line up offsetting. So Connor's back. So that's offsetting one. Now Connor come back up to conventional, that's two. Connor moves over here for Australian, that's three. Julian moves to the inside. Now it's off the eye formation. Okay, and remember there's a modified eye as well, so Connor could be slightly over on either side. And then the last one is motion doubles. Julia starts her service motion, she says switch. And round of applause for our audience, like Andre Agassi, clap your racket this way. All right. Okay, let's meet over here. 